So today we're going to be looking at a way to add a link to your your little area on your website, wherever you want to add this. You've got your text where they can go on their mobile device and click on that and they can send you a text message. You've got your phone number there where they can click on that and call, whatever you have. You get your email link where you can click on that. Well, now I'm going to show you how to do a messenger link. There's a special little URL that'll get them so they can send a connect with you via messenger to your personal page or your business page. Let's jump over and check it out. So what you want to do is you want to go into Google and type in Facebook Messenger link. And you'll click on that and it will pop open a page here. And ta -ta 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 -ta, right here, you'll have developers.facebook. And this is it where it says m.me. Click on that. And that will show you what the URL, the starting of that is. And just, just hang with me here. I'll just kind of walk you through how this works. What this is, is a little HTML code, or I should say a URL, that you just need to drop whatever your business page is, your profile page, or your the uh, your personal page right here. You copy this H, oops, I'm going to copy this better, HTTP colon slash slash M dot M E, and then forward slash. And you see it says page name. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to come over here. And I've got it type, typed in right. Now, so you're thinking, okay, well, so what do you mean by, what, what's the user? Well, let's go to my personal page. Right here, my personal page, when I click on the John here at the top, da -da -da, just hang on a second, it loads, and right here, John Young MN, that's my username. Let's go to the Distracting News page. Let's go to that, and I click on that to load the Distracting News page, and right here, the Distracting News page is up here. So, if I go over to the Messenger, this link, and if I type in Distracting News, Jockey News, and I click that, what it's going to do is it's going to open up a mess on Messenger here, but it's going to open up a communication so I can be communicating, as you can see in the, uh, the top there, with the Distracting News. Okay, now I'm going to change this. I'm going to go back to that, and I'm going to type in John Young MN. And now it will take me to my personal. This is actually what I do is I share with people, I share with people this. That, and with a John Young MN. Now, I can copy this URL right here, and I can go and share that. And if people click on that somewhere, that will open up a messenger window, whether it's in a browser like this or on the cell phone. Now, one cool thing is there's companies out there that don't allow messaging. So let's go to our friends at Apple. Apple, you go to their page, and I have liked it, so I should be able to message them. No, they have shut that off. Have no fear. Let's use our cute little hack here. And we're going to put Apple right here. And we just click, the, click to uh, do that. And you're going to see that it opens up a messenger chat to Apple. Now, granted, they're probably not going to respond, but it is indeed there. So I could type something if I indeed wanted to. So this is a quick little hack that going through the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash M dot M E forward slash and then whatever it is, your page name or your personal profile name or your personal profile code, whatever it is, you put that there and share that link and people can click on that and go right to Messenger and be able to message you directly through Facebook in one way, shape or form. So hopefully for a Tuesday tip, that was something that you guys will be able to utilize in your business in some way, shape and form. This is John Young with our Tuesday tips. Hey, there's a link in the description below to check out the full playlist. Thanks for watching.